we are here live ready <laughs> to bring you into the van well this isn't live this is pre-recorded but hey we're I, on video you, you, you know, see our faces you know what i mean man. <laughs> you know what i mean but we are here we've tried to get some lights rigged up so that you can see us in our van and uh the bucket of candy is just right off camera um <laughs> you come in the van as a guest and maybe you can get you some candy so uh we're going to talk about something really quick unplanned you said something what do you do you want me to tell you a story or you uh you told me earlier about some this crazy lady you saw on the side of the road oh, while oh. driving okay. on the interstate and i'm going to need the full detailed story of that because i have feel like our listeners might love to hear about it yes so. sir i i can oblige so uh the types of things that you can see when you spend some hours on the road like i have in my life over the last say seven eight years are they're limitless you can see a whole host of things oh right? yeah i think i was telling you about the other day about a uh a guy i was stuck in traffic for like 20 minutes of everyone going like 40 miles an hour on the interstate and i was like what in the hell is going on finally get up to it and uh turns out it's this fella and uh he's just cruising down the interstate with his uh it's a two axle trailer you know a big trailer behind a truck that's yeah, got yeah, yeah. two sets of wheels okay okay back axle the uh, rubber of the wheels is just pretty much not there anymore. They were flat, and he just... Just churning just, them up. Just churning them. I mean, like literally like a full just bellow of smoke was coming out behind the back of this uh, trailer. He's just cruising sitting, 40. Sitting like this? Yeah, just yeah. doing his thing, no man. No care in the world. Yeah, unfortunately, those people are all over the roads. Yeah. I saw something totally different. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm coming home, North Georgia area of I-75. First of all, I love that stretch of interstate because it's three lanes the entire way from Chattanooga to Atlanta. Yeah. So unlike the entire trip of Knoxville to Chattanooga, which is only two lanes mm -hmm. the entire way, which is utter bullshit. Yeah. But they got plenty of road well, space. They can put a third lane. Write your local congressperson. Exactly. Let, let's get this taken care of. So uh, anyway, what I saw, uh, it could be one of what I decided in my brain is one of three things. All right. I am coming up a hill and up on the far right shoulder, I can see a car is pulled over to the side of the road. All right. You know, as you're pulling, seeing something in the distance, oh, yeah. maybe I can't even guess, maybe a quarter mile away, mm -hmm. you can see a car on the side of the road. So I see that. And I noticed that it's pointed the wrong way on the side, on the shoulder. Like it's headlights are facing right. me. a good driver as they are, driving they're going to observe things that are in the road aside you know adjacent to the road and they're going to calculate their decisions based upon said objects in the road you were just doing what a good driver does i was trying to hayden i was trying to just <laughs> you know uphold my civic duty of being an observant driver exactly on the interstate so uh i see this car and then i see a figure sitting in the grass like i was just thinking maybe they pulled over somebody Something wrong with the car or something. Happens. All the time, right? <laughs> all the time. I'm on the interstate all the time, and I see cars pulled over to the side of the road, somebody, just car door open and someone doing anything, stretch and get some out of the back seat. I didn't think anything of it until I got about, I don't know, 200, 300 yards away, and I see this figure stand up and like put their arm up and stand up and start waving at traffic, and I see, how can I put this? Uh, double triple g um voluptuous woman <laughs> totally naked oh no standing up on the side of the road trying to flag down traffic so again i'm going like 75 hey! miles an hour yeah yeah I, I i couldn't tell if it was a hey or a hell <laughs> and my brain started just racing after i saw this she was totally naked i mean you know what I mean? Boobs out, bush out, naked. And <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what are the possibilities. Car door facing the wrong way. Car facing the wrong way. Door oh, open, right? Wrong way. Yeah. The headlights were facing as if they were driving against traffic. When you pull over to the shoulder, that's aren't you supposed to turn it around the other direction? If you're high on bath salts. Ah. You know, forgot. That's she, the she, qualifier. The, that is, you know, it's like a prerequisite for having yeah. your car going the wrong way on an interstate. Yeah, bath salts it, it, at least. So I, that's that's possibility one is bath salts. Um, possibility two and possibility three are relatively dark and grave. <laughs> I mean, we've read stories about that crazy asshole in Ohio 
that kidnapped those girls and had them there for like 15, 18 years oh, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And then one of them busted out of the basement and didn't hardly have any clothes on or whatever. Yeah. So I'm thinking, I don't know. Was she flagging down for help or was she, hey, <laughs> what, what, what kind of action was she doing? Or, uh, or option three, again, relatively dark. I've seen some pretty um, out there documentaries on Netflix. There's one that's called um, Hot Girls Wanted. You ever seen that on there? No. So I, I've seen it scrolling, but I've not watched it. No. So it was produced by um, uh, not Leah Remini, but uh, Rashida Jones. Oh, okay. So Rashida Jones produced those, I think, and it's about the amateur porn industry and all these girls that get recruited into it, and then like, like tricked and obviously abused and like all these different things about it mm. so my brain was like what if it's that, is that what like, i'm saying what right is now? what is going on here right here and i know that i'm not the only one that saw mm. this i'm like hoping to god that someone See, else I, called the police because i didn't <laughs> i uh i like to look at the evidence yeah. so you said car w there was a car there was a car okay so there wasn't another person that you saw right just a car no, I didn't see anyone else in the car, and she was definitely by herself. Okay. Definitely naked. And did, you know, I'm going to, I mean, if she's by herself with a car, surely this is not a kidnap victim that has escaped, because you would think the car that she was in would have sped away or left or... Or been trying to get her back in the car. Or Exactly. Also, I feel like if you're, you know, transporting a person, having them naked... Is not a good cover. Have you seen The Hangover? Yeah, there is the person in the trunk. Okay, but I don't know. That's a. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, uh, drugs are bad. Okay. Okay. Uh, Alex for five hundred. <laughs> I I'm just driving by and just like. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Me and Bernie. <laughs> like, huh? So let's ask. Let's ask you. Okay. I would love to know what you think. I want to know if you think it was bath salts, <laughs> if you think it was option two, kidnap, or option three, amateur adult film industry. Escapee. Escapee. <laughs> Which kind of is also two. <laughs> <laughs> kind of both. Um, just a more specific example of two. Um, so A or B, I guess. <laughs> Uh, we would love to know. This was fun. Uh, I I like the lighting in here, man. I think that I feel like I'm in a real studio. I think that we are gonna once we learn how to, you know, <laughs> appeal to the camera. I have no idea how to appeal to a camera, and if I need to look there more, I will. Like I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> I'm for real that person. I know, right? <laughs> I can't take a picture without being like. Where do I where do I put this one? I just put my. I, I literally this is this is how I take pictures. Just put my pinky up my butt. Is that where it goes? <laughs> uh, listen, thank you guys for uh, checking in with us on this little short edition of BRV videos. Uh, this is going to be something that we want to do for you guys more in the future. So uh, check us out. Our most recent edition of our podcast is going to be episode number fifty four. Yeah, yeah, that's what's like coming. 54 and uh our title on that was jerk on a bike oh what a story it was a great story so check us out on uh uh apple podcast right or google podcast or i don't care whatever you like just just listen just listen thank you guys we'll catch you on the next one